The one card I wanted on the RTG is officially here, and your boy is going to send absolutely every pack I have saved to bring in Team of the Year Conte. But first, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Road for Champions RTG Edition. Now, some of y'all have been watching me for many years, and some of y'all just started watching me and don't know this. Midfield Conte is one of my favorite midfielders to ever play the sport. I absolutely love Conte. There's something about him that just brings me happiness. Watching him play was something that I really enjoyed. Now, I want to speak to you about this card because when you look at it, a lot of you go, well, I don't enjoy those skill moves. I don't enjoy that weak foot. I don't enjoy those stats. And as much as I can say, you know what? You're not wrong. The card doesn't look insane for what Conte should be and how good Conte was but the truth is this lads there is a massive lack of good defensive mids in this game and everybody knows it a lot of us can't get our hands on Vieira that's facts so today I'm going to be sending every team of the year pack that I've saved my rewards as well to go into Conte because Conte is the defensive mid that I've been missing he has the battery just like Sawa. He has quick step for a DM, which is impressive. He has anticipation, which is one of my favorite badges. He has intercept and he also has slide tackle. So slide tackle, I don't really care about, but the rest I do. When you look at this, his passing is not the best. His finishing is not the best, but that's not why I want Conte. I want someone that in the 89th minute and then 85th minute and the 84th minute when the game is on the line and I need to defend someone that's going to help my, my center backs out, someone who's not going to leave me on an island and people could just counter attack me consistently. That's what I want. I want a medium high, just a straight up ball winner that's going to win me games late in the game when I'm trying to hold on. So I am sending everything into Conte today. And I'll show you my team to explain why. I cannot tell you, lads, how sick and tired I am of using Modric or someone like that as a defensive mid. Luka Modric is not a defensive mid. He's a great box-to-box -box midfielder. But that's it. Something we must talk about is the lack of fodder I have. The fodder is on, let's just say, an all-time low, lads. Um... I did pick up Dante from doing the um, the draft stuff, but then, lads, it just becomes very light very quickly. So I have a, a 200,000 coins pretty much. We have rewards to open up. We have a lot. So I'm going to spend my money on him for sure. I'm also going to spend every pack I have saved up for sure. But as you look at my team right now, I want you guys to understand that last night when I was playing Rivals, by the way, I was smoking through Rivals. I was using Lorente as my defensive mid because I just can't find one. I got to the point where I benched Frankie De Jong. I benched Luka Modric and I was using Lorente, lads, because I was sick and tired of playing this game without a legitimate defensive mid. So Conte is going to be that for us, hopefully. Hopefully Conte is going to be that guy that really takes us to the next level. I am going to go untradeable because lads will go ahead and send everything into Conte either way. I got a bunch of like defender packs. And by the way, everything is in, in, in packs right now, I believe, for Team of the Year. I'm pretty sure everything's in packs. So I'm going to open up. And even if everything's not in packs, it's okay because right now I'm just trying to collect fodder for the one and only big boy Conte. Lads, in the comments down below, let me know. Are you doing Conte? Are you staying away from Conte? Do you want Conte? Does Conte, is Conte something you need for your team? Because my biggest thing is Conte is something I need for my team, lads. It's just the truth. It's something I really, really, really need for my team. It's something that I've just been lacking since this game started, you know? It's something that I've been I've been very much in need of since the game started. So I'm going to open up a few of these, like, um, really, like, the gold ones and stuff. And once we start getting to the interesting one, like the 85s and stuff like that, then I'll show you guys those packs, all right, and see what we get. Also, if I get anything good, I'll obviously show you. All right, lads, so as I'm going through these, I haven't gotten anything yet. And there's a problem here, bro. If I don't start to hit stuff soon, I don't think I'll, even with my coins, I don't think I'll have enough. Which is so sad, man, because without this card, I do not want to play the weekend league. That That's how important Conte is to me. And I know a lot of y'all might be like, yo, man, the card doesn't even look that good. But like I've told you, I don't want to play this game anymore without a legit defensive mid. I am sick and tired of people just running straight through the middle of the park or 
no one helping out my center backs like i just finally need that in my life so like i said i'll put my 200k i'm looking at how much it costs to do this spc right now i'll be able to get off at least i already got one done uh, with the coins i have i'll be able to get off at least two more everybody knows what they need bro you know what you need for your team you know what your team is lacking everybody's their own manager you know and i just feel like that's the one thing that I've been lacking and slacking and I need big time. That's gonna be Martinez, right? That's an 87 rated card. Not double walkout, yes, EA, thank you. Can I get like a 90 rated Benzema? Benzema would be nice. Nick Bruno, 88, that's not bad. That's not bad, lads. Another 84 by five and then my 83 times 10s look, lads, I have a lot of them. So here we go, let's do this. Let's bang this out, baby, first one. It's gonna be Luka Modric, who's an 88, right? 88 or 87? 87, I think. Double walkout, yes. Please, yo, flip, flip to like, just something that, that you know, like Harry Kane, Griezmann, 88, okay, 89, 89, 88, 88. Antoine Griezmann, okay, okay, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad, lads. Couple 84s. We don't, we don't care about that. Listen, lads, if I can just get the big one off. The rest I'll figure out, you know what I'm saying? With coins and we'll figure the rest out, no problem. 84 by five, come on. Okay, ah, uh-oh, uh-oh. Not a double walk out here, lads. That's only an 85, right? Oof, oof, we, oof, we took an L. Oof, that boy caught an L. Too many duplicates, please, EA. Not too many duplicates, French. That's gonna be Benzema. No, it's not, Nkunku duplicate. That's a duplicate, lads. And then we get an 80s, 286s, bro. We're in the mud, bro. We're actually in the mud, bro. Um, couple 86s, 84s. All right, my McMenamin sells for 100K. Um, I have to sell him. I have no choice. I like him a lot, but we're selling McMenamin because um, that is going to allow us to have an, an extra 100K to complete Conte. Okay, bought him for 99K, selling him at 105. He is officially up. As you guys can see, Trezeguet is in there at the moment, but I'm not sure I'm going to send him. Um, the first thing I can do here is I can go get myself Casemiro, okay? And if, and then it's done. I, I'm pretty sure that's done. Let me see with an 88 rated card really quickly. Um, let me grab someone like, uh, let me grab, uh, let me grab Kimmich and put Kimmich right here. Okay, so it needs to be an 89. All right, so I can complete the biggest SBC to Conte right now. Um, if, if, if I send Trezeguet, um, what would y'all do? I mean, Trez I got Trezeguet for a defensive mid. That's what I got him for. He was a defensive mid. That's why I built him. He played a long time. Um, I can send him into this SBC or I can go buy Kimmich. And then see if I can afford the rest. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But if I send Trezeguet into this, which we we I think we paid a lot for him. I actually don't remember. Did we pay a lot for this card? I, I'm trying to remember if we paid a lot. We paid 100K for him. Um, I'm sending him. Please don't judge me. I know. I know. Maybe it's a mistake, lads. Maybe I'm taking it now. But listen, I need my defensive mid. So I officially sold McMenamin. Okay, well, he hasn't sold yet, but I'm going to sell him. Okay, so he's going to be sold. I've completed the first part of Conte, which was, in my opinion, really important. Okay, because I want to bring Conte in. And right now I'm at 157,000 coins. That's after we bought Casemiro. McManaman just hit the market. So once he sells, we should be close to 300,000 coins. And we only have to complete three more parts of my little goat Conte. I completed another 83 times 10 because your boy's a recycling machine. You know what I'm saying? That could be Neymar. That's not Neymar, it's Rodrigo. Lads, I'm not really getting 87s, man. I thought I would at least get... <gasps> Vinicius Jr. on the RTG? I thought it was... Yo, doesn't Vinny sell? Oh my gosh. 300K. 300K, yes. Vinicius Jr. on the RTG. Yo, let's go. I know y'all probably ain't no way you getting happy for a gold card, but yo, that's awesome. 300K on, that's a 300K card. 
Yes. Yo, Vinny actually might touch the field, bro. Look, I'm still using Rodman, okay? Don't judge me, bro. I'm still out here rocking Rodmans and gold VVDs. I know some of y'all out here rocking all kinds of team of the year. Yo, listen, calm down. Not all of us could be so blessed, bro. Not all of us can be so blessed, homie. Vinny's going to be a bit. Not another one. All right, y'all. So I would have to buy 487s to make this happen. Um, and I'm doing it. I don't know if it's the smartest thing to do, but I feel like it's the only thing for me to do. Um, 87 is going for a lot now or what? 16K? We have to, boys. I got to finish this off, man. Plus Luka Modric, I can keep keep my other one. Uh, 16K for 87s. I, I, you know what, lads? If I get, I think since I'm getting this one off right here, let me make sure I can go a little bit cheaper. Um... Uh, it, it, since I'm getting this one off, lads, honestly, I have to look at, at, at Footbin, but I think, honestly, I might be able to get the rest off. Let's see. Let's send this one. Modric is in there. Nice. Perfect. Done. All right. We have an 87 and 86 or 286s. I think it might be 286s, lads. Oh, my God, lads. Lads, I got one off without spending a penny. I got one off without spending a penny. Let's go, dude. Um, That means we're only going to have to pay for one. Let's go, dude. Good job, man. Dude, what an episode, bro. What an episode, dude. I am, I'm, you know, I'm proud of myself, dude. I started this episode. Let's just be honest, bro. Another informed nice. I started this episode. Okay. I started this episode thinking to myself, I'm not. Wow. Nice, bro. J Reese James's sister's inform, dude. How much does she sell for? 34K? Is it sellable? It is. All right, y'all. So I got to buy a couple 87s here. I'm at 222K at the moment. Now I started buying, so that's going to drop pretty quickly. But I want you guys to know that we officially are going to have Conte. I'm going to be honest with you. When I started this episode here, I did not think I was going to end with Conte. Um, I didn't think that I had the facilities on the RTG to get this off. Now, like I said, for a lot of people, when they're opening their team of the year packs, they're going to be upset when they don't see a blue. For me, it's the opposite. Yes, I wish I could get a blue, but I know that chances are you're just not going to get a blue. It's so hard to get a blue in this game, bro. Um, so for me, it was just leaving this, this episode here with Conte. That's the one thing I wanted just because it's the one thing I feel my team needs. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the French machine, the beast himself, big boy Conte, team of the year hasn't been the craziest for the RTG, but what we did do was get an unbelievable Sawa and now a defensive mid that we've been on the look for. But here's the problem, chemistry. Now chemistry becomes a thing. How are we gonna get Conte onto full chemistry because as you know, like I know, yes, Conte is French, which is usually pretty easy to link, but um, he's in the Saudi Arabian League, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Again, we've looked at his stats already. We're happy with those. We're happy with what he brings to the table. We understand what he brings to the table. We finish with 149,000 coins still remaining. And this is where it becomes, this is where it's gonna become a little bit tricky, lads, because I might have to go back to Blanc and I really don't want to. But sometimes in life, you got to do things you don't want to, lads. Um, unless, let me look around. Let me see if there's a way. Um, let's find out. Do I need the Spanish? Uh, let's see. What about if I go French? What about if I go French with the Premier League? French is good. We're locked up there. Everybody else is good. Let me go Premier League. So I, I could go to Bacha as well. Bacha is a big option. And I'll go to Bacha to fit Conte. I will. Bang. Look at that. Right now, I have Rodman in last because I've just been abusing the wings. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like we did it, man. I, I just, I don't know, man. I keep looking at the team and keep thinking about what I would do to it, what I wouldn't do to it, how I would, like, go about the team. And I just feel like we did it. I feel like, like, look at that, man. Rodrigo, Neymar, Zebu, Malin. I just feel like this is what we needed and we have it. And I'm excited, bro. I love Sawa. I think she's an outstanding card. 30 games played, 17 goals, 17 assists. She's just amazing for me. And now we have little Conte to help her in the midfield. I'm just, I'm just ecstatic, bro. For the first time in a long time, we've upgraded from 
Aitana and Modric or Frankie De Jong and Modric or Frankie De Jong and Aitana. And I just really hope after a few games of playing with Conte that I actually really, really enjoy him and um, that he's the, the card I think he's going to be for us. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash that big old thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, and I will let you guys know by tomorrow how much I love Conte or how much I hate Conte, but surely we're going to love him.